Hi everyone, my name is Ava Marsh and I am a licensed cosmetologist and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do beach waves. In this beach wave tutorial I'm going to be using the Bioionic Long Barrel one and a quarter inch iron. This is my favorite iron for curling my hair when I have my extensions in. Currently I have three rows of Bellamy volume wefts. I like to use a curling iron with the clamp. I think that's necessary to get the beachy wave look. And then a heat protectant. And then you're also gonna need like a little hair tie or a clip to section off your hair. So first step, I'm going to section off this bottom part of my hair. Now that my hair is sectioned, I'm going to be taking the Guy Tang heat protectant and I'm just going to be spraying my section. I split my section in half just like this in the back. This is my first section. This is the left side of my hair and I'm going to be curling this one away from my face. So my clamp is going to be in front of me and I'm just going to take, I'm going to split this into two sections actually. So I'm going to take my first section, my clamp is in front of me, I'm going to go ahead and clamp right at the top of my hair and do one turn, one or two turns, as many as your um, iron's going to allow, and then you're going to dip it under. And then you're going to twirl it back up and dip it under again if your hair is long enough, but that section's kind of short. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to clamp right at the top of my hair, twist, do about two twists. Once I have those two twists, I'm going to dip my iron under, twist back up, twist again, twist back up, and twist again. And you can pull out the ends straight. That kind of gives it like the beachier look if you pull the ends out straight. The clamp is always in front of you when you're going away from your face. So you're going to go ahead and clamp at the top, twist, twist as many times as you can, dip under, twist up again, and dip under. Clamp at the top, twist, twist, hold for a few seconds and then dip it under. Twist, twisting back up the hair, you're dipping under again, and then once you get to the bottom, you're twisting again and pulling it straight out. So they're gonna look like these kind of like small little curls and that's what you wanna see. And then splitting this section in half again. Taking my heat protectant, spraying my hair. You should always be using a heat protectant with any kind of hot tool. And then I always keep my hot tool um, around 360 or 390. So we're gonna just be doing the same thing. And for beach waves, I like to do all of them away from my face. I just feel like it gives a beachier look. Towards the back, you can alternate the ways of your curls, but for the front, I kinda like it away from my face. So I'm gonna show you in depth how to do this again. Your clamp is in front. You're clamping right at the top, and you're twisting, twisting up again. Once you have about two twists, you're going to hold for a second. You're going to dip that hair under and twist up again. Dip under, twist up again. Dip under as many times as you can do it, and pull that end straight. This is like the size of my section. It's like not too big, not too small. It's a pretty good section, and then I'm just going to do that again. When you dip down the iron like this, that's what's giving the beachy look because you're gonna brush the curls at the end and it's gonna give that beachy look. You wanna make sure you're clamping your curling iron up at the top first when you're starting because you wanna get that curl on the top. I see a lot of people clamp on the bottom and twist up, but that's not giving the proper curl at the top and your top is gonna be flat and have no volume. So you wanna make sure you're always clamping at the top when you start to curl. Don't forget your heat protectant. I always forget it on my top layer, which is the most important layer because you have the front pieces, which are the most fragile. Grab a pretty good section, the clamp, 
is once again in front of me. I'm gonna go ahead and clamp at the top and you kind of want to turn it fast because if you don't turn it fast you're gonna get a you're gonna get a clamp line. So I'm kind of just curling the top, dipping under and dipping under again. This is what you want your curl to look like. Super like condensed and small. Okay, this is what it should look like when one side is done. You don't want to brush those out. You just want to let those cool. Okay, now I have both sections curled. I'm just going to let those cool for a few minutes. Now that they're done cooling, I'm going to go ahead and brush them out. I like to hold my curls at the top of the root and then brush just like this. Nice and gentle. Don't want to brush them too crazy. This is what it should look like. Holding up the root and brushing nice and gentle. This is what it should look like when it's done. You have lots of volume, lots of dimension throughout your curls. Super beachy. My pro tip to you is to get a texture spray or shine spray. This is the Orbe Wave and Shine Spray. And I just like to take this and I like to spray through the bottom of my curls. It's going to give you some nice volume. That's how I do beach waves. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys want to see more hair tutorials, just comment down below what you want to see. And I'll see you next time.